Hey, what is going on guys? It's me gaming with and today I'm gonna show you all how to find the MUX switch on your laptop on your gigabyte laptop whether you are on the latest versions of the laptop or whether if your laptop has that feature or not. There is a YouTuber called Glizmo Tech Slip. He has left a uh, list of all the laptops which come with the uh, which have the RTX 30 series and have the MUX switch. So I recommend you guys check it out down below in the description. I'll leave a link to that and you can see if your laptop have this switch or not but th but this is a very useful feature because if you don't use this you're gonna have a lot of issues especially in performance wise in uh in games because what this basically does in the normal in a normal laptop like where where this technology is used which i'm gonna talk about is what happens there is the cpu which is the intel core i7 in my particular laptop it has integrated graphics and there is the gpu so what happens is that the gpu processes the images and it is sent through the processor and then after it's sent through that it's gonna go to the display so it has a, a second party coming in in the middle which causes a bit of bottleneck this is what the information i know if it's something wrong you guys can let me know so to prevent this happening manufacturers put mux switches on laptop not all of them come with it but wherever come with them are very useful if that laptop does not have it do not buy it like the rtx 3070 laptop from asus underperforms a laptop with rtx 2070 so you need to make sure you're just because uh not underperforms it's almost similar just because it does not um it does not have the mux switch and it will i'm not sure if it has it or not but you need to be able to bypass the igpu which is the integrated graphics in your cpu and make sure your uh, graphics card is directly linked to your display or else you're going to see huge performance cuts especially in games like fortnite call of duty whatever they are what happens is that the, without this feature the fps is like about 150 on those settings or something i was like shocked because the performance was really bad and after a bit of digging and a bit of finding i finally found out how to do it and from 150 fps it went up to about 240 fps which is a decent gain and i'm going to teach you all step by step how to do it First thing what you have to do if you're on a gigabyte laptop is open your control center which is pre-installed on your laptop and once you go to this section this category on on the top as you guys can see there are six different categories if you go to, to the third one you're actually going to see different options but one thing is not going to be available is going to be the MUX option so to basically enable that you need to make sure you go into your um software settings under this category and you need to make sure you update your uh control center and once you have updated your control center you can actually go back to your manager and then over there you will be able to finally find the switch which is called the graphic switch it's going to be on default on igpu you need to make sure you switch it to dgpu so what's going to happen is that whatever processing the graphics card is doing is going to directly be linked to the display and won't have to go through the integrated graphics card that's the most simplest word like that's the simplest word i can say it in so it's gonna improve performance significantly um it was a um, it took a lot of time to find this feature out and it would be much appreciated if you could do a like rating down below and would help others out as well because i could not find this at all on youtube or on reddit anywhere so i thought I might as well make a video on it and this is i like if this has to be the last video on the laptop i'm gonna get back to call of duty fortnite and all those games and let me know in the comment section down below what kind of games you all want and that's pretty much it for the video video if you guys enjoyed don't forget to drop like and subscribe turn on those post notifications follow my instagram join the description and i'll catch you all later in the next one